Family Tree record um, that has just come out is a very important album uh, for me. It's uh, close to my heart. It was recorded um, at the tail end of 2016 and it followed a couple of major life events for me. Uh, the main one being the birth of my baby boy, who's now nearly a year old, um, and becoming a father for the first time. In addition to that, um, was my father, who built me a double bass which uh, you can see behind me. And <clears throat> that took him 15 years off and on. It's, um, it's not what he does for a living, it's just a hobby. He's, he makes instruments for a hobby. And um, he presented me with this double bass, which sounds incredible, a real woody, deep sound to it, great tone. And I thought um, it deserves to be heard on an album. And with the, the new baby and everything, it was a very inspiring time and a very creative time. So I composed a, a lot of new music um, actually on the double bass that my father had built for me. So a lot of the mel uh, melodies and a lot of the harmonic progressions and the bass lines were composed directly on that instrument. In tenor saxophone we've got Jeff Guntrin, who is quite new to the Manchester scene. He's originally from Iowa in the United States and he's been living uh, in Manchester in the northwest of England for a couple of years now. He's a fantastic improviser, amazing um, technician on the tenor saxophone and great sound, real focused, um, great tone and again very um, important to have around because it's always uh, offering advice and offering uh, his opinions on the tunes. On the drums we've got Dave Walsh, who I've known for many years, and Dave's a really dynamic drummer, really incredible uh, technician on the drums, but also incredibly musical as well, and is always quick to offer advice in terms of arrangements and uh, different parts of the tunes and just a really positive uh, person to have around. electric guitar we've got my good friend Jim Faulkner who I used to live with uh, about 10 years ago 15 years ago even and um, again he's a, an amazing improviser a really great listener and very dynamically aware which I found for some guitar players is a bit of a uh, they struggle with that because you know a lot of electric guitar players kind of play loud and louder whereas Jim's got a very dynamic sensibility and it's really it's always playing for the song and he's not just a great guitar player he's a great musician as well Thank you. 